somebody has their cat has one or more or all of these symptoms and they've likely been to the vet multiple times and maybe their veterinarian has told them okay I, you know i think we're dealing with ibd whether they do or do not go through any of the testing procedures which i think jay you know you said it well early on that there is a huge overlap in symptoms of IBD and symptoms of cancer um, anywhere in the in, you know GI system. So I am a proponent of testing to a degree. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if if you're one of those people that you're very steadfast with on you know you're on the allopathic track and you're like okay, I'm metronidazole and prednisolone and all the things they're going to treat IBD and GI cancer the same way. I, I know every veterinarian I have talked to, it's metronidazole and prednisolone. It doesn't matter if it's IBD or if it's, if it's cancer. They're going to do the same thing. So a lot of veterinarians that I have dealt with in my life are like, I, there's no point in spending the money on the testing. We're going to treat it the same way. But as you were saying, there could be a lot of benefit in the testing because you, you really need to know what you're dealing with. Because if it is cancer, then you may want to do something totally different with your cat. But that said, if it is IBD or you feel like it's IBD or your vet feels like it's IBD, there are things we can do that will help and not harm. Whereas a lot of our pharmaceuticals, they may help initially, but they're also going to harm right. in the long run. And I know you guys have a line of products, Feline Essentials, which everybody I know raves about. I use them. I mean, everybody I know uses them. They're incredible. They're very, um, they're natural. And you recently, I think it's been almost a year, close to a year, right? Or no, 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 no. I'm totally wrong on that. It hasn't been a year, but you recently came out with <laughs> an IBD kit for cats. What is Can time? you tell me about that? I know. What is time? <laughs> what is time anymore? Um, yes. Yeah, so, so basically first, before I get into the treatments and I want to say that there's, there's basically in my, what I tell people and I'm not a veterinarian, but what I tell people there's, is there in the easy way, there's basically two ways to go, um, to successfully treat IBD in cats and these and and all the clusters of, of symptoms, uh, and that's one the slow way and one a fast way, right? But before we get to that, I want to say that the treatment of uh, metronidazole um, is normally a a quick treatment to stop the diarrhea. So the veterinarian is giving it, it, as a as a um, what's uh, I don't know what my words are, but um, they they need to stop dehydration and they need to stop the diarrhea. And that is very important. There is another product out there called Diagel, D-I-A-G-E-L. And it's called like a one and done. And it's an all natural um, formula that you can give in replace instead of metronidazole. If what we're doing is we just need to stop the diarrhea and the vomiting, we need to make sure that our, our cats are, you know, not getting dehydrated and wasting away. Then that is a that's a good um, um, alternative. alternative, especially for chats that have developed my, uh, a resistance to metronidazole. So a lot of people are like, it's just not working anymore. It's just not working. Uh, so, so that is a great way to really stop that kind of uh, critical symptom. Mm -hmm. Keep your cat from becoming dehydrated. Let them absorb their food. That is a great, yeah. great point. That yeah. Would jump. yeah. Um, so when it comes to treatment for IBD, we do have an IBD and gut restore kit, um, that we put together because all of the different supplements help a different area of the gut. Um, and together we have found that, um, th this is a way in which cat parents can successfully slowly, but successfully um, treat IBD in cats. I know I'm not supposed to use the word treat, but help IBD in cats <laughs> um, alleviate, right? So we can help to, to restore the gut. And this is through supplementation, right? And diet, of course, we don't want to continue to feed an inflammatory diet and then try to supplement. You can't out supplement a diet, right? So, um, so we still want to get them on a good diet, but um, using a, um, a, a, various supplementation over time, we're starting to restore that gut. So we can do that now, depending on the severity of the issue, 
this can take, you know, a month to a year, depending on, you know, the, the, severity. the severity of the, um, of the gut health. Um, if it's really, really bad and that gut is like thin and we're, we've got leaky gut going on, then it can take longer to, uh, to really restore that gut. The second way, however, is microbiome restorative therapy. And we have been, we have been interviewing and talking to so many people and so many veterinarians that are uh, just passionate about this, you know, fecal transplant. It sounds gross. It sounds weird. It is kind of weird, um, but it's been around and all the science shows that it is the fastest way to restore your uh, cat's gut health. And that's through a, tree, a, a fecal transplant. And